live already? Yeah, I'm live on my side. Let's double check sound. Oh. <coughs> yeah, you live now. <coughs> Sounds good? Sound good. Yeah. Uh, Elder crop space? No, I'm kidding. I'm waiting for the crop up now. Okay. Uh, both both live, both good. Alright, we're cool. Alright. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh, we were talking about a few things in class, but one of the main things uh, that was coming out is basically how if you don't have the, you know, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, basically your kingdom is going to collapse, you know, all right? In order for a kingdom to be, uh, you know, established and for it to, as the scriptures say, reign forevermore, you have to honor wisdom, you have to practice wisdom, you have to obey wisdom and you you know and that has to be your standard basically at the end of the, day, of the day all right so that's basically what we're learning right now you know in this uh you know in this flesh right now you know in this time period hey, we're, we're learning the law statutes and commandments so hey, we're really learning how to love one another we're really learning how to love ourselves all right you see and like i was telling the brothers look if jake we're given the opportunity right now to do their own thing, right? You know, they didn't have any of the heathens bother, bother them. Their uh, kingdom will be structured after all these other kingdoms, you know, after the uh, the Edomites, the Moabites, the Hamites, etc. All right, and it will lead to a downfall. You will see a murder. You will see, you know, robbery. You will see uh, injustice, okay? So on and so forth. You will see these things. Yeah, because that's, that's all they know, man. They don't know the Lord, man. So, of course, they're going to follow what they've been taught. The, the way uh, Esau and these heathens, man. You know? And look at this kingdom, man. You know? <coughs> this kingdom is a prime example of what happens when you don't follow the ways of the Lord. Look at the disasters that's going on here, man. This mm -hmm. wicked ass kingdom, man. Uh, this, this place is a, a big fucking disaster, man. Under this devil's roof. Because he's not about following the ways of the Lord, man. Boy, yeah, this is Second Samuel 23 and 3. It says, The power of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me, He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of Yahweh Hashem mm -hmm. that uh, And ruling in the fear of Yahweh Hashem you're going to rule what? according to his wisdom, according to the ways of Yahweh Hashem That's the only way a, uh, uh, that this earth could be ruled by, man. And nobody uh, has done it. You know, the only ones that, that came close was us, which was with who? With King Solomon for 40 years. Yeah. Uh, besides that, no other nation, every nation, they tried this way, they failed. Their kingdom uh, got taken down. Our kingdoms? When you yeah. read the Book of Kings? Uh-huh. All right, well, you, you, you'd have, you know, one uh, righteous, you know, king, wicked king will come in, so on and so forth. It'd be a pattern, you know? Oh, yeah. And see, the thing with, because uh, the brother mentioned King Solomon, yeah. Yeah. That was really just a prelude to what's coming, all right? Because, you know, if you understand reincarnation and all that, you understand that uh, King Solomon's whom? Yahweh Shai, right. all right? That proves it right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. That proves it right there. They had 40 years of peace. Well, yep. And it talks about what he is. He's the Prince of Peace. Yeah. I think it was in Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I forget where it's at. You know? All right, but point being, though, is, like I said, that was just a prelude. The Lord wanted to show... You know, what our kingdom, you know, a glimpse of our kingdom. Yeah. You know, what, like the brother said, well, we had peace. We had all, you know, the, the, the finest things, the gold, the, 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 the rubies, whatever, you know, the precious stones. All right. These uh, uh, nations were coming unto us, mm -hmm. seeking, you know, uh, wisdom, guidance. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Yeah. We weren't in debt. Like in these kingdoms, they, they rule with all, all type of wickedness and stuff. And you wonder why they crumble. They tell you in Deuteronomy they don't uh, have the wisdom of the Lord. The wisdom can't was to give it to us. They tell us that uh, 
this wisdom make us more special above any people upon the face of the earth. So the rule, you must have that wisdom of Yahweh Shai. Hey, and with that kingdom, King uh, of Solomon, when did it start crumbling down? When he went out, when he, when he went against the ways of Yahweh Shai, then everything went to shit. Yeah, you start following the ways of the women he's dealing with. So, yes. That's what happens, man. You follow these other uh, doctrines and you, you just become through. And look at the state of our people right now. All right, then they follow Roman Catholicism, you know, Islam, Buddhism. Hey, shit, the, the American dream. Whatever they're into, man. And look how messed up they are. Talk to the Egyptologists, man. Yeah. These guys are fucking bugged out, man. All right, talking about the black woman is a guy. Go, go talk to, uh, what's his name, uh, 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 Brother Polite, uh, how he's doing. Look for a black woman. She she, she came and grow her own goddamn hair. She wearing wigs and shit. So you talking about she got. She, she's the one that got you in jail. Also, <clears throat> you know, point being, though, is that, you know, our people are completely through. Hey, they're stricken with madness. Can a brother get that, man? Uh, uh, in Deuteronomy 28, and he also get a uh, real quick, uh, the one in Sirach where it says, give me any other plague but the plague of the mind. But yeah, the plague of the heart, Salaki. Yeah, it's definitely a plague of the heart, man. Yeah. B bugged out these jakes are. They definitely got the plague. <laughs> That's the plague of the mind, man. Mm -hmm. It's fucking gone. Revolted and gone. Yeah, man. we were talking about it. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're a Jake that's, you know, in the entertainment world that, that you know, that has money, you know, because you're a rapper or an actor. You're completely through. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're on Section 8, you're completely through. Hey, you could be in, in a blue collar worker. You're completely through. I don't care if you're in the Greek fraternity working at a, 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 a what is it, in corporate America. You're through. Yep. You're you're through if you don't have your how about you shine this knowledge. All right, but uh, can the brother get that Sirach first? This Sirach 25 and 13. It says, "Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart." Exactly, which is going into your mind. Cause look look what happens when you don't have a sound mind. All right. Our, our women want to shake their asses at any and every occasion, mm -hmm. all right? You, you got fucking Coco Felon, all right, talking about, you know, going to zero to 60. You know what I'm saying? You know, that, that you've seen that little kid, that little bug out. I think he's from Chicago, too, right? I'm not tripping. Okay. I don't know, man. He's a fucking bug out, though, man. Yeah, that's all that matters. You know? Little goddamn monster. Mm -hmm. All right, as the scriptures talk about in Second Ezra. You know? No. Shit. Today, man, our people are through, bro. All right, yeah. but um, like, yeah, they are, man. That's why. Hey, the only only remedy for for these through niggas, the Lord got to get rid of them. Man. Yeah. Uh, Can you uh, you got more? Now? Yeah, yeah. This is gonna tie into what you just said. It okay. says, "Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any weakness but the weakness of a woman." Exactly. And man, you you, you don't want to be around a wicked woman, man. All right, which that's all these women, you know, in this society. Now, of course, there's going to be a couple, you know, uh, righteous sisters, you know what I'm saying? All right. That's far few and in between. Mm -hmm. The point being, though, is, hey, I don't care if you're dealing with, like I told the brothers earlier, I don't care if you're dealing with a white woman, a black woman, a Puerto Rican chick, a, a, a Chinese chick. They're with you, man. All right. Yeah. They're going to try to sabotage you one way or another because... What they're going to try to do, even with King Solomon, because the brother brought it out. What did they do? Basically conform to my ways. Yeah. Conform to this. Yeah. Which is off, man. Because, see, these other ideologies and quote-unquote religions, they they give you, um, there's room for a, like a slip-up. Like, yo, know, it's okay. Yeah. You can eat pork here. There's no issues with that. Yeah. Oh, you know, depending on what you're into, like some places, oh, it's cool. You can, you can uh, be in an orgy. It's fine. There's no repercussions for that mm -hmm. so on and so forth you see there's no you know? standards no, yeah. no accountability <clears throat> mm -hmm. all right so that's why you know man hey stay now of course i'm saying take this with a grain of salt stay away from these women man all can right I, can i get on real quick mm -hmm. this is a uh, sirach 42 and 12 it says behold not everybody's beauty and sit not in the midst of women for from garments cometh a moth, and from woman wickedness. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so, and that wickedness, you know, comes from women, man. They, they got a lot of power down there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
Hey, what did you say uh, in the scriptures? Uh, men have run out their wits for women, you know, in that first yeah, Ezra 4? Yeah, All right. What did you say? He's holy then. Oh, me. shit. You know, like, brother's going to get it. Yeah. All right. And you, and you see hey, men will murder one another. Yep. Men, men, men will fucking travel around the world for some twat. Yep. All right. Spend all their money and do it. But, but, man, he'll, he'll buy her anything, he, you know, she wants. Next thing you know, he's got zero in his bank account. Yeah, and yeah. Corn yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn. Yeah, these weak ass men, hey, they allow these women to have their balls in her purse, man. Uh, oh, shit. There was, there was this uh, OnlyFans bitch. She was like, Yeah, man, shout out to my fan. He saved up all his money. He bought me a car. Never met the man. This nigga bought her a car. Hey, what was that goddamn uh, <laughs> What was that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that uh, Black Mirror? That guy from Get Out. Oh, yeah. He's riding the damn bike, oh, bike yeah. for yep. points. He, he gathered up all these points. Give it to him. He gave it to the stupid ass woman, man. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Dummy. Stupid, man. Goofy. But this, um, <laughs> black nigger. <laughs> <laughs> this first, um. This is just four and, um. What'd you say, brother? Uh, this first edge is four, and I'm gonna start at. Oh, man, I want to get out of this because it's going to it. I'm gonna start at 18. It said, Yea, and if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other good, godly, I mean, goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely and favor and beauty? And let all these things go that they not break, and even with open mouth, fish their eyes fast on her. And have not all men more desire to her than to silver or gold or any goodly thing whatsoever? A man leave his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleave unto a wife, right? He stick not to spend his life with his wife or remember his father or mother or country. But this is also yet must know that women have dominion over you. Do you not tow, I mean, labor and tow and give and bring all to the woman? And that's what a lot of these simp niggas do, man. You got a lot of niggas go to work and bring their check home to their fucking woman, man. Like, she make all the decisions. She pay all the bills. Like, what is you there for, bro? Like, these niggas literally do that, right? It's a verse 23. Yea, a man taking his sword <laughs> and, and go his way to rob and to steal... And to sail upon the sea and upon rivers, like the brother said, a man will go rob. He'll go fight for a woman, man, right? It's saying, look upon a lion and go into the darkness. And when he has stole, spoil, and rob, he bring it to his love. <laughs> Therefore, a man love his wife better than father or mother, man. Yea, many there be that have run out their wits for women and become slave for their sake, man. Many also have perished and have air and sin for women, man. And you see that all, all the time, man. All right? Guys will, will die because of a woman. Yep. Oh, yeah. God will, this woman start talking to him and be like, oh, yeah, I need you to kill my boyfriend. I'm being mm -hmm. abused. All right? <laughs> exactly, bro. Yeah. <laughs> now he's locked up exactly. for life <laughs> over this bitch. You get a lot of niggas like that, man. Yeah. Hey, a, a bitch will send him off as a, a co-worker of hers. He ain't like because cause a nigga probably was wicked hitting on him. And now or said something like that That video, uh, I believe, that then that woman that was in Maxwell, even though her son, even though her son, they got off. But look, uh, all she had to do was just shut her fucking mouth. Yeah. And what he do? End up beating, beating her ass. And then she texted her son, came in and killed the dude, man. It's proven, man. Niggas would do anything for a woman, man. Even though that was his mother, but still, she should have shut his shut her fucking mouth, man. Yep. He could have got in serious trouble, did fucking some time, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But niggas don't think about that, man. You know why? Because they be weak over the, some some pussy, man. At the end of the day, can a brother get that dude around me twenty eight? And, and then get the uh, last scripture for me, Salak, y'all. I mean, whatever you all have. Um, the one in Timothy where it says it's of a sound mind. It talks about the sound mind. Oh, yeah. uh, Second Timothy 1 and 7. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah it's man ready to do it for some goddamn box. And they don't get it anyway, man. Don't get it. After oh, doing yeah, they, all that dumb it's shit. Not even, they, 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 don't, they don't even get it wet. They don't get it, nothing, bro. At all. They, 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 of course they ain't theirs. Yeah, of course they ain't theirs. Period. Just making a point. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
uh, you doing all that stupid shit, and she ain't giving it up anyway. Bro, they're going <laughs> hey, back home, and hey, 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 your, dick, your dick is just going to see a fucking uh, a dry hand. Right. Pomalina. Pomalina. He ain't doing all this. Like, like the brother said, he's doing all this for some damn box that got a lot of knowledge on it, man. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I got to do the run for you, y'all. This the book of do the But you don't have no wisdom, man. See, once you know all these things, you're not going to bow down to a woman no more, man. Once you know everything about them, shit. Once you have that wisdom, man. You'll never give up the preeminence. Yeah. That's you right. want to speak up? This the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. You look, your house shall smite thee with madness. And I say this, man, and these women see that. Hey, that's why they a lot of these women, they don't want to deal with the man, Lord. Because they see it off real. Like, oh, man, this dude see through all my bullshit. I don't want to deal with yeah, that. Yeah, because they can't control you. Yeah. Like, I remember the, back in the day, right, there was this uh, gay eye chick that I knew. Badass bitch, bro. Fucking fire, bro. And, um... You know, it's funny, man. I used to get with, like, her friends and shit. I mean, whatever, long story short. But uh, I used to get with her friends. I could never get with her. And the reason why is because, like, even in the world, I was already still, like, a, a steer. You know what I'm saying? I didn't deal with the bullshit. And she knew that. Because every dude that she was with, it was always some fucking simp, bro. Mm -hmm. Super simp. And I'd be like, what the fuck? But now that, you know, coming into the truth, now I realize the reason why she didn't deal with me is because she knew that I wasn't going to deal with all her bullshit. I wasn't going to play her games. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so she just never came to twat. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, man, I always hated Simpson the world. Oh, I always hated Simpson the world. I remember, um, where the fuck? Uh, I was uh, going somewhere. This <coughs> nigga woman on the bus. She wanted me to walk with her. Now, when she was going somewhere, it was very dangerous. A lot of gang stuff. Uh, and while I was going, you know, it wasn't going that far from where that sh activity was going on. But she wanted to walk with her. I, I, so I walked with her to the point where I was going, and then I mean, you on your own from this point. I'm just walking. Man, nobody did I'm not finna danger myself for no damn bitch, man. Uh, you know? I kinda, even at war I had, kinda had that mindset, mm -hmm. you know? And the war I hated simp ass niggas, man. And I hate them even more now. Thanks. Go ahead. Just, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. And these simps are reason. Hey, people really hate these simp niggas because they're the reason why these women the way they are, man. That's true. They prop them up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Like, fuck, you a bad baby made how many millions in one year? year yeah. 18 one mil. Month. In like, a month, yeah, in a month. In a month? In a month. Ooh. Yeah, bad baby. baby, cash me outside, huh? Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, yeah, she, she a little bad bitch. I ain't gonna lie, she's she's wrong. But like, goddamn, bro, nah, all that just to see some twat, right, some, some, some some titties, bro. Like, go to fucking Pornhub or X videos if you're that thirsty, bro. Not a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, you know that shit fucking weak as hell too. Weak, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make a Wait, point. Bro, ask who? Who is that? Oh, is it? Can someone check yeah, around the corner, Bob Shot? Go like two man deep. She said, What? That don't look like a female. Yeah, don't. We don't got time for that bullshit. Sit back down, brother. Oh, no, I don't know. We finna go around the south side. Yeah. Don't open that shit, bro. Yeah, now, we're gonna keep on with the, the lesson. Yeah, yeah. I'm speaking of, we're talking too. about these women as a bitch right there. <laughs> That's a distraction, man. Fuck that noise. <laughs> this is the book of Deuteronomy. Speak up. Hey, speak up, brother, when you read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. we're going with the Lord Yahweh shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Read it one more time, Oxalot, you got distracted. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord Yahweh shall smite thee with madness and blindness mm -hmm. and astonishment of heart. Exactly. So that's what the Lord has done to our people, man, as a whole. All right? Mm -hmm. And that, and that's why they make these terrible decisions. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord, or that's why I said it's right. Give me any other plague but the plague of the heart, man. Yeah. Because now you're 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 making these rash decisions. They're not profitable. All right. They're, they're not. Uh, uh, there's no prudence in it. Okay. And then it leads to a downfall. Yeah. All right. And can a brother get the sound mind doctrine? Uh, right, uh, scripture. Right, right. This uh, Second Timothy, one and seven. It says, for the Most High have not given us a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yeah, so the elect has that, that sound mind with all those other, you know, 
attributes as well. Main point, though, you know, uh, you know, if we're dealing with this topic, is that sound mind. All right. Hey, we, we see through all the bullshit. We got the eye cell. You see, the rest of our people, they're blind right now. Okay. But see, the Lord anointed us. We got the eye cell now, and now we can see, you know, through 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 the smoke and mirrors. Yeah, through, all right? through the darkness. So like an owl has eyes sound, you yeah. see in the dark. That's right. All right, so that's why we don't fall for all, all these games and traps and snares, you know? Mm -hmm. And that, that makes them hate you for that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because anybody, somebody is, <laughs> they hate a person who has their number, man. Yeah. Nobody like that, man. Yeah, no, God. That's right, because they can't take advantage of you and control you. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's, right. that's what it cold boil down to. If I can't take advantage and control you, I hate you. Okay. Yep. And that's why it's important having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, in your inward parts, <coughs> all right, to set you apart from the rest, man, because these people are emotional and, and they act and react like brute beasts. But this is Proverbs 4 and 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So that, that's why the scriptures tell you to also what? To gird up the loins of thy mind. Mm. All right? Be prepared for these things, man. All right? We're, we're dealing... It, it's the elect against the whole world, man. Even two-thirds of our people are against us. You see? And that's why we got to be sound in heart. You know what I'm saying? Stay uh, uh, Staple in this word, man. That, that's what's going to keep us from the evil time and these evil-ass people. That's yeah, right? that's what he said. It's the man law against the world because... Hey, what did King David said? The number of my enemies are the numbers of the hairs on my very head. Yeah, my familiar friend that yeah. hit my table and all. Mm -hmm. you, got, you, you got to understand this, man. Yeah. Anybody outside this truth is your enemy, man. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they can't be trusted, man. That's why the Lord said, uh, uh, those that do the will of my father, the same as my brother, my mother, my sister, you know. Mm -hmm. This is your real family, you know what I'm saying? That's why what we're gathered by the word, man. We all come from different walks of life, but we're back here together again in this lifetime, gathered by Yahweh Shai, man. You see, everybody else is just, you know, background characters. All right, they're going to be willing in the day of our power, but until then, they're, they're, they're enemies too, man. You know what I'm saying? They're enemies to the cross. The NPC characters. Yeah, NPC characters. Yeah. Yeah. Controlled by yeah. Satan. Yup. All right, and then look. They're going to lose, man. All right? Because look, it is a whole uh, uh, King David versus Goliath. That's all it is. That, which is, we represent King David, right? The house of David, right? As the scriptures say. You know? This whole world is a bunch of Goliaths. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And look, all we need is what? That stone. All right? Which that represents Yahweh Shark. That stone took down what? That, that giant, right? Mm -hmm. The smooth that, stone, yeah. Yep. That, that, that everybody thought was unbeatable. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to happen, man. Hey, the stones come. It so shows you that in the book of Daniels, mm. what destroyed the statue? That and it was a big statue, right? In the vision, yeah. what destroyed it? That stone, okay? And that's what's coming, man. Hey, hey, once your house shine, you know, comes back to this world, this earth again, it's, it's, it's done. It's a wrap, right? Because that stone, like you said, mm. is about the statue. Those statues represent different kingdoms, you know. And that stone took them all out when it hit the feet. Conquered when, them all. Yeah, conquered them all. The water. Because when Yahweh shine. And Revelation says he had what? Many crowns. Wow. He's coming here to dominate, man. All right, the mm -hmm. saints shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever, man. Mm -hmm. We're taking this shit by force because we're coming in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, just as King David did. You see? But you have to have that wisdom, man, in order to conquer. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, know, you have yeah. to have that wisdom. Yeah. Or you're going to fail. All right, because if it be of uh, not yeah. of the Most High. Right. You know, it's going to fail. I it forgot how it works. It's going to come to naught. You know, yeah. it says in the book of Acts. Yeah, you see, true. what you're seeing right here is of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. That's why it's not falling. You know, no matter what they try to do, it, it, man, you can send all these fucking agent provocateurs. You can send, you know, it doesn't matter what you send, man. It's not going to work. I don't care if you play with the numbers on our videos. Okay. I don't care if you. Fucking, hey, hey, some of us going to get thrown to jail. It doesn't fucking matter. E, you're going to lose. Right. Hey, anybody and whoever follows E, bro, you're going to take the L. All right? Yeah, you're going to receive a fucking L, bro. Mm -hmm. That's it. 
Yeah. And you know, you ain't getting back up though. See, see, this ain't no fucking video game where you hit the fucking you know start button and all of a sudden you continue. You know, like how back in the day with fucking Street Fighter, but you lose. Cool, are y'all beat up and shit? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you got a chance. You got a chance again. You know, Right, right. It ain't happening, bro. You know, yeah. you, you, they continue, but it ain't fucking happening, bro. Yeah. yeah. All right. Why scripture say uh, the gates of hell should not the <laughs> gates of hell should not prevail against it? Man. Yeah. That shit real, bro. Yeah. Uh, that's what how shot told Peter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got one right. So this uh, Job twenty and four says, "Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed <laughs> upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for yeah, a moment." Yeah, people in the world. A bunch of goddamn hypocrites, man. A bunch of hypocrites, man. You know, I use one for example. When it come to Jake, so-called Negroes in particular, they always like to lump you in one category. But they, but you can't do that to them though. They all ain't like that when it come down to them. But when it come out so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, don't even know you, but always won't judge you like these niggas already, man. Mm-hmm. Off sight, man. That's an example of their hypocrisy. And the Lord's gonna kill you people for that, man. That's right. Hey, read that again, brother. It's Job twenty. Fucking hypocrites, man. <laughs> Hypocritical ass, wicked, satanic ass world, man. Oh shit. Hey, did they get mad about game banging, right? With you know, cause Jake, you ain't banging. Mm-hmm. Bro, you game bang with the world. Yep. You game bang with countries. Yep. That, that, that's, that's Esau's game banging. Yes, it. All right. Man. Hypocrisy. Oh, you know, they get mad at you. Go, oh, you know, the blocks, you know, are bad because. You know, blah blah blah. There's this gang and that gang. Well, shit. Countries are bad because you 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 use countries to fight each other. And not to mention, <laughs> to not, not to, oh yeah, not to mention, you create the monster anyway, man. Oh yeah. Uh, Jake doing what they doing because your witch witchcraft. You 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 set that up for Jake to do what they doing, man. Uh-huh. You don't want to create the monster. You create the nigga, man. Yep. Yeah. And Jake don't know how to fucking build a gun. Trust me. God knows. <laughs> and if he did, he don't got the supplies to do it. Mm-hmm. Right. That's it. This uh, Job twenty and four. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. But, but for a moment, meaning your hip, hypocritical ass, the Lord gonna destroy y'all ass. That's right. Uh, all you with that hypocrisy, the Lord's gonna kill you. Y'all about shimmy out shots gonna get rid of you niggas, man. That's right. You niggards. Which it starts with Esau Edom. That's right. Yeah. Fucking dead. Yeah. Uh, anybody have this uh, script? I got one. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 6. It says, But though a man oh, be man. never so perfect oh, among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. Mm-hmm. So if you don't have that wisdom, you're worthless. Because what? The beginning of wisdom is fear, y'all about to shot. shot. And you look at all these kingdoms. Especially this kingdom, man, as it says in Revelation 13, chapter, the Esau Edom kingdom is about blasphemy. It's about going against the Lord. It's about saying that he's God. about saying that um, the law says commandments. Oh, that's, that's done away with, man. Do as thou wilt. You, hey, you want, you're a woman? You want to be a man? Hey, why not? That's why it's becoming the, the biggest laughing stock in, in the world right now. America's a laughing stock to everybody around the world. Who takes, who's going to take a country serious when people are, you know, confused all right, about their gender. Right, exactly. All right, when, you, you know, pedophilia is exalted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When everybody's a, a goddamn, you know, addict. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to take that serious? Who going well, to take, take, take it serious? But just look at your president. Ex- exactly. Dude, dude, dude is about to fucking croak, bro. About yeah. to fucking croak at any moment. Who's no. taking that serious? Dude doesn't even know what's going on, man. This guy's... Be in the middle of a speech, might talk about ice cream and kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It was just a new video about him tweaking. He was putting some, like, a fucking... A t-shirt on. He couldn't even put a fucking t-shirt on. He all... <laughs> this nigga gets off... This nigga off the... This this nigga, right. In the middle of the speech. <laughs> going to collapse. Right, right. <laughs> this nigga gets off the plane with his wife. One pants leg tucked in sock, man. Right, he falling upstairs, <laughs> upstairs and shit. Like, what the fuck? Bro, they're telling him, tell uh, uh, Mr. President, you gotta go this way. Yep. You gotta go to the left. This dude goes to the right. He just it keeps is, walking. Hit his head and shit. They gotta sit there and like, oh, no, no, you gotta turn around. That's what you gotta like. Come on, bro. 
Like, who's, who's going to take this fucking dude? Right. He's, he's, he's now. got dementia. He's out of his goddamn mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. so we don't know what the fuck is yeah, going on, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was, it was an anime like that I was watching. I forget the fucking name. But basically, long story short, they had this king, right? He was just set up, just put there. And the people were surrounding him was running the, running the show. But they was acting as if, oh, man, this is the king's order. This is the third. Whole time, this nigga doped out of his man. He just sitting there, basically a zombie. Like, they had him on all type of drugs. This nigga was just flies around him. He's stinking. He ain't washing his ass. So, they was like, ain't that right, king? And he just sitting there. They yuck. He ain't say nothing. So, basically, this is the king's order. This is from king's order. What the fuck? <laughs> what? The whole time, funny. it's other niggas pulling the strings. And then they yeah. putting on, oh, this is the king. This is that. This yeah. is that. The whole time, he just doped out of his man and fucking just dared to be the scapegoat, the zombie yeah, of the thing. <laughs> just like with his ass, this nigga out of his fucking man, but there's people behind him running the strings. I mean, pulling the strings. Oh, yeah, the elites, powers that be, you know, and you dumbass people thinking you got a choice who gets in office. They already decided who gonna get in office fucking 20 years ago. Bro, this dude been in office for 52 years, bro. <clears throat> this dude's first day, I believe, was 71 or something. You talking about, uh... Biden, Biden? bro. Oh, yeah, 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 because, um... There's an interview, uh... uh fucking Joe... What the fuck is that, uh... <laughs> right at the time he talking about, he, like, he first met him. Judge Joe Brown. Mm -hmm. You know, Alex Jones show was talking about it, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That, that, that dude is, <clears throat> is set up... To, he was set up to stay there. You gotta think about him. For 51 years, man. Yeah, yeah. Hell. Yeah, even uh, Donald Trump, this nigga on interviews and let on, on Larry King's show back in the 80s, they talking about him being president. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be, this is back in the 80s. He eventually became president fucking, what was it, like 20, 30 years later. Man. Shit, his ass biff. Yeah. <laughs> biff. Oh, his yeah. ass biff, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From uh, Back to the Future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had to go back. Yeah, yeah, could pretty much, uh, you know, he had the... Uh, the sports book, all the teams. That's yeah, all, 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 yeah, all the teams. All the teams. He knew the future of all the teams that was gonna win. He made bets and stuff. That's how he got rich. So hey, let's look look at how the conditional world was when he was in power. He had the power, man. Oh and yeah. That's Esau, man. Look at the condition of this earth. As long as it's dealt with being power. Mm -hmm. Not following the ways of the Lord at all, period, doing whatever the hell he wanted to do. Yeah, in about five, six hundred years, this guy's literally destroyed the earth. Yeah. Terrible man, but brother got a preset. Yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 16. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, Ooh. and thy prince since even the morning. Yes, mm -hmm. and, hey, and, and that's Esau, you know, man. Hey, the scriptures is the only thing that teaches you how to be a man and and, and uh, how to be an, an, an adult. You going uh, against this, you want to. Sticking a child's uh, mindset. Hey, with scriptures, uh, Job it said, "Children are fools." Mm -hmm. Just a uh, uh, base man, viler yeah. than the earth. Yeah, children are fools, base man. Yeah, he's a child in the <clears throat> mind. He's American psycho. You, pretty much, you got a, a psychopathic, not right in the head motherfucker ruling over you, man. Yeah. But yeah, but he portraying like he's a normal person. But ain't nothing normal about this guy, man. This dude's complete bugged out and crazy. He's a nut job, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I got one. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24. Hold on, were you finished with it? Yeah. yeah uh, More than yeah, that. Yeah, that was it. Oh, Make okay. sure, before you start reading, man, you got to double check on it. Oh, it's luck, man. Mr. Hot Boy. <laughs> Hot Boy. <laughs> yeah, you got Hot Boy. <laughs> this is the book of Isaiah, <laughs> chapter 24, verse 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. Yep. The world languishes and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Yep. So everybody is, is suffering due to this dumb being in power. Yep. Verse 5. The earth also is the felt. Which is rightfully so because you niggas wanted this guy. You wanted Barabbas. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So the Lord gave what you want. And, you, and this is the result of getting what you want. And you... <laughs> <laughs> and we up there crying, Lord, and Lord up there like, see, you see, this is what you get, man. Mm -hmm. You wanted this guy, right? This is what you Not, asked for. That's it, what man. you asked for. Now yeah. you see, and it, it ain't the grass ain't green on the other side, man. Yeah. Oh, 
Right, you hated discipline, you hated my wisdom, you hated to be, you know, the ways that teach you how to be a man, so now I'm going to give you a, a child to rule over you, somebody who hates uh, correction, who hates everything that Yahab Bashim and Yahab Shai stands for. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy with these people. That shows you how much the nut job he is. You don't want to follow the ways of the Lord, but yet you get mad when the Lord ain't dealing with you. You know, it's stupid. You're all bugged out. Yeah. You you literally all bugged out. You're not right in the head. All right. You're just like your daddy E. You get mad at me because you look, man. And you reap what you sow. Yeah. All right. You reap what you sow, and then you're gonna get mad that you didn't get a good result after you you know just been sowing wickedness and evil all day. Yeah, man. What the fuck do you think is gonna uh, happen? Right. What you want? Think you're gonna get high five? Right. Lollipops? No, it ain't gonna. Hey, it's a consequence to the decision you make, man. You know? See, no one wants to deal with that. Yeah. No one wants to deal with that. Hey, but it, you're gonna have to. See, that's the thing. The Lord doesn't get. Because the Lord doesn't care about your feelings. Mm -hmm. Look, the Lord is all about judgment. Alright? That's it. Mm. That's yeah. it, man. Yeah. You reap what you sow. You ask for it. Hey, Lord give it to you. He'll give you what you want. But it's a consequence to come with it, man. Same. You know, but when the consequence come, see, that, that's Esau. He, he about doing whatever the hell he want to do, but don't want to deal with the accountability to come with it, man. <laughs> and that's basically Esau and you Nick two third niggas, you black Edomites, and you fucking heathens, man. Still you know, more. scripture. You, it's more common. Yep. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws. And you're going to get to judge them anyway. The Lord don't give a fuck how you feel. You're going to apply to them. You're going to apply against the Lord all day. But the Lord can bring that judgment on y'all people, man. Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. And he broke all the laws in the Bible. Same guy that gets up there in the politician seat. And swear on the Bible, the 1611 joint. That's the crazy one. They get because they got all the scriptures in there. Yeah, which uh, script according to scripture, that's all in itself. Yep. Swearing on the Bible, yep. right? You're not supposed to swear on anything. <clears throat> not not supposed to make an oath. Verse six, therefore, have the cursed devoured. You're just not earth. supposed to swear. Okay. That's it. Yeah, because there's oaths, but you're not supposed to swear. Come. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 6. I just had to make that point. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are detest, are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt, and few men love. So, hey Esau, you know, you, you that cursed guy, man. All right, you that psychopath that these boys been talking about. And it's true, you are cursed, man. Cursed with leprosy. All right. I'll read that again. All right. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 24, verse 6. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt and few men love. Yeah, and that goes into um, really the missiles, all right, because that is the curse of the earth. Yep. And it's going to burn a lot of people. But at the same time, as the brother mentioned, because it says in Isaiah the 34th chapter how Esau is the Lord's uh, cursed people, all right, and he's the one that's uh, being used to, you know, shoot off, shoot these missiles. All right, which are gonna, which is gonna destroy a lot of people, mm. all right, and a lot of the earth. But at the same time, man, it's gonna uh, 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 breed creation. All right, shit. Uh, they even say that always the red hot, hot chili pepper song in California, Cation, man. All right, mm -hmm. how destruction breeds creation. It's mm -hmm. the truth. All right, because yeah, land masses are gonna and, and things are gonna be destroyed. But remember, with um, a lot of earthquakes and all that stuff, that creates, you know, because. With these earthquakes, it's going to create like volcanic eruptions in the sea, man, which that creates new lands. All right? So, a lot of there's going to be a lot of a, a new earth that's going to be a, a established, too, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. fire's going to cleanse the whole earth. Mm -hmm. This this earth's polluted right now. That fire is a cleanser, man. So, it, it's inevitable. It has to come, man. That's right. The, the, <laughs> the clean earth. Man, you mentioned that song. That was my favorite song when it came out, man. Yeah, it's a deep song, man. Yeah. It's a very deep song. Yeah. No, but, uh, you use it anymore? I don't see how. Hey, brother, have a scripture? Hey. Oh, okay. so I. Oh, Slot, you hear something? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Oh, Con, it's, uh, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 3. 
It says, a man shall not be established by wickedness, but the rule of the righteous shall not be moved. Nice. You know, Tom, and that's just what the world's been going into, man. You, know what you got a governor of kingdom and rulership, man. You got a governor of earth by the ways that y'all watching me outside shot designed it to be governed. <coughs> Anything else going to get casted out. You know? Right, and the, and the proof is in the scriptures, you see, because all these other kingdoms, they didn't follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, so they all came to an end. You see? And that's why we're waiting for what? You know, Yahweh Shai, one that is profitable, will be ruling. Because right. he's going to rule this earth, all right, with these laws, statutes, and commandments, you see? Mm -hmm. And and the Israelites, hey, we're all going to be righteous. We're all going to be perfect in, in the kingdom, mm -hmm. you know? Then the other nations, uh, they're going to keep the laws, the statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. But we're going to judge them, you know, in righteousness, you see? And that's why our kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, which is the kingdom of the Israelites, hey, it's a kingdom with no end. That's it. I'm sure how proud this guy is, man. All these other kingdoms using the, uh, the ideologies and all from all these other kingdoms rolling into one. They all had an end, so what makes you think you're going to go on forever? That show you how proud this motherfucker is, man. Uh, well, it, he, well, yeah, on the dollar it says that he favored our enterprise, mm -hmm. you know, in the, the Latin. Yeah, yeah. You know? This is a proud devil, man. He thinks the Lord is dealing with him. Yep. He actually thinks he's above the Lord, man. You know yep. what I'm saying? This, this motherfucker, man. <laughs> Esau, man. Dogs that dwell us in the tufts of the rocks who have a in his hat, who said, you should bring me down to the ground. And that's Esau all day. He's that caveman. <laughs> and he's yeah. proud as fuck. Mm -hmm. I had a quote. It says, Do not fear, for out of the ashes will come profound and undeniable beauty. Mm. So, you know, America is going to get destroyed by fire. So is the land of Israel. All right, maybe, you know, some other places too, because they're all going to be shooting missiles. But the majority are going to come here to America. That's what the prophecy says, man. All right, this is Basra, you know? Yeah, for prophecy, yeah. this place got to be utterly destroyed, yeah. man, you know? Mm -hmm. so you turn to a big, that's what the scriptures say. You turn to a big desert, man. <coughs> yeah. That's a, a reminder of what not to be, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, three parts. Yeah, uh, Revelation 16, 19. Land of confusion, like scriptures say. Okay. Is it going to be a big ass desert? Land of confusion. A line of confusion. Yeah, the lines are going to be all, yeah. you're not going to tell, you're not going to be able to see Illinois or Indiana. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be a big desert. Yeah. yeah. True. Cause it, I'm sorry, because uh, America's an altar, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the yeah. Lord's going to have that great sacrifice, and the elect are going to come out as a sweet smell, you know, beamed up into the chariots, man. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah, the, the, the elect are going to, uh, well, the, uh, it says what, they were uh, in the furnace of affliction, the furnace of adversity. Yeah. And we, we, we're going to be as gold, man, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's beautiful, bro. Shit. We're going to come out good, man, while the rest of these people are going to be stuck. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shit. Sure? Like that sea of glass. You're looking down. Mm -hmm. That the destruction. destruction. Mm -hmm. You know, Lord will we part that number, man. But uh, that first one. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> uh, Ecclesiastes is that it on Sirach 10 and 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Mm. And in due time, he will set over it one Ooh. that is probably. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it says that because obviously who's running it right now is not profitable. That's why it says the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Yeah, yeah. Get um what does verse like sixteen say? Ten and sixteen? Yeah. Oh uh, read it. Go up a little bit like what thirteen. Uh Sirach ten and thirteen. Speak up to us. For the pride for pride is the beginning of sin. Mm hmm And he that has as it shall pour out abomination. Oh, and that's what you saw us doing. All right, with all these ideologies and wicked laws, you know. Yep. We see it every day. All right, they're telling you, hey, it's it's cool to be transformer. It's cool to be a what they got there, the man boy lover association. That's cool. All right, it's cool to you know, hey, they exalt you know, you know, thug and gang banging and murdering. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Boredoms. It's cool. It's cool to be insatiable. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. cool, man. You know, hey, everyone's bigging up all these 
do or all these women committing adultery. Mm-hmm. Man, oh, oh, Cameron Savage. <coughs> Fuck that nigga, bro. How about that, man? <laughs> hey, crime doesn't pay, <laughs> asshole. That's right. All right. All right. You know what I'm saying? Because that dude was with uh, I, I forgot what was that one uh, basketball former basketball player and his wife, and she started to do like I only so, whoever her name is. Point being, those she went on a. Uh, their podcast, and she was giving them a massage, and everyone was all bigging them up and shit. So He's gonna die, man. All right, hit him, fucking jewels. Yep. All right, fuck it. Uh, uh, who was the other dude? I can't even think of his Jim fucking Jones. name. Jim Jones. Oh, They're all gonna dip, fucking die in fucking Harlem. Them dipset niggas. Yeah, niggas. Yeah, them niggas <laughs> you and your fucking <laughs> Tim's nigger. <laughs> all right. Uh, you got and therefore that, that the Lord. Lord. Bro, that shit is a demon out there. <laughs> Boy, real sloppy. And therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Mm-hmm. Yep, and uh, we, you see that uh, every day, all these, these judgments. And, and when the Lord starts really taking this place down, it, it's going to be strange, bro, because as the scriptures say, who, well, who can take down the beast? You know what I mean? Yeah. And who can make war with the beast? It's going to be unreal when the Lord really just takes this place down. You know, but keep reading our... The Lord has cast down the thrones of proud princes Woo! and set up the meek in their stead. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's what's going to happen, all right? You know, the, the lowly, the meek, the humble are going to be exalted soon. Mm -hmm. All the rest of you people are going to be cast down, man. The proud, the, the, the stout, mm -hmm. all right? That's the it. arrogant. That's it. It don't matter if you believe because in some mind, you're reading all these scriptures, you know Esau just going to stay being denied to the end, man. Oh, you already, we already know that, man. But it don't matter, man. The Lord <laughs> gonna do what He say He's gonna do, regardless of what any of you motherfuckers think, man. But go ahead, bro. The Lord has plucked up the roots of the proud nations mm -hmm. and planted the lowly in their place. Woo! That's right. Anymore? The Lord overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. Mm. Okay. And that's what the Lord is about to do. To, you know, good old America, man. Good old U.S. of A. Mm. All right? Mm -hmm. It's about to be annihilated. All right? That's uh, it. That's uh, we end this shit. All right. Well, hey, you know, we're going to end this lesson. Hopefully it was edifying. And with that, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to... Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rechach, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers and uh, Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala.